Hi, I'm Naomi Aki. I play Whitney Houston in the movie I Want to Dance with Somebody. And I'm here to answer some trivia questions about Whitney. Whitney was born in Newark, New Jersey. I learned so much about Whitney. The thing that surprised me was learning about her approach to rehearsal. When she sang uh, Star Spangled Banner, they wanted to get a recording just in case. And the story goes that she kind of went in, did it once, did it amazingly. And they were like, okay, do you want to do it again? And she was like, absolutely not. Because <laughs> for one, I'm singing it <laughs> tomorrow. And for two, like, that was amazing. And I've heard a lot of stories like that, that she would be able to do things just in one take. Her nickname that she was called by her father as a baby, but also then <laughs> eventually like all her family and friends was Nippy. Oh my gosh, I love this because her birthday is August the 9th and my birthday is August the 22nd. And that means we're both Leos. I'm pretty Leo, but I'm Leo on the cusp, technically like, the next day is a Virgo birthday. So I'm kind of a little bit, I, I'm perfectionist, but also like sometimes got quite a big ego and it like, they butt heads a lot. August the 9th, if I'm correct, the sun is at a higher point. And to be honest, it, it rings true to Whitney. She was self-confident in its purest form. Dolly Parton wrote, I will always love you. Who's girl, Whitney? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard I want to dance with somebody like obviously a lot but recently it's been um when you're feeling down and out love will save the day oh love will save the day yeah no, that's a good one Whitney Houston's character name in The Bodyguard was Rachel Moran my first acting role was a part in Doctor Who that got cut <laughs> I was heartbroken I think she won six Grammys in her career. <laughs> so. The most challenging part, I mean, there was many different like challenging parts. I think the biggest thing without sounding too twee was getting out of my own way. As much as I, I practiced and rehearsed and tried to understand Whitney, there was also a lot of work I had to do to um, not self-sabotage by being too nervous about doing this. <laughs> Clock strikes. Upon our and the sun begins to fade. <laughs> that picture is from the music video I Have Nothing. I have nothing. Whitney and Bobby Brown were married for, I think, 50? No, 14 years. I think that youthful attraction to each other, that like magnetic thing lasted a really long time, but there was also a lot of difficulty within their relationship. When you love someone so much and yet maybe you're not helpful for each other in some other aspects. It started off youthful and fiery though, and that's, oh, it's a beautiful thing. That iconic outfit of beautiful Whitney in the white, red and blue tracksuit is from the Super Bowl. I remember the first look that I was like, oh, I think I was probably like, I don't know, 10. It's, it's not right, but it's okay. It was the leather and it was the bob and the dark lip and she looked fantastic. And then there was all those women in the background. So I, when I got to give it a go, that felt great. Seven? Am I wrong? Did I get it? <laughs> I think it's something everyone already knows, but it's nice to be reminded in watching the film that she had the most beautiful voice on the planet. Please come and watch I Wanna Dance With Somebody. It's out in cinemas now.